Transformative is a series of short films that try and explain the history of fashion photography as seen from the perspective of the stylist, the makeup artist and the hairdresser. Let's do a little bit of scene setting, just a bit. How did you get into hairdressing? So what, because you're from a Scotland. mining community yeah. in Scotland, mm -hmm. not the obvious path to get into hairdressing. Mm -hmm. Would you mind just giving me a kind of just a, a brief... I got into this business totally by accident. I was, right. at, I was at teacher training college when I was 18, 19. Right. I was going to be a teacher and... In which subject? Um, primary school teaching. Right. And then probably going on to, that was, I did that first and then it was probably going to go on to French. But yeah. I absolutely hated it. Right. And it was early 70s, so it was kind of, I was just discovering David Bowie and, yeah. you know, American soul music, glam rock, all yeah. that kind of stuff. And I, we had no money. My, my family weren't very, well, they were very poor. And, um, very happy, but very poor. Right. Um, and um, my friends owned a hairdressing salon, stroke, disco, stroke, um, hamburger bar, and right. I would help them out to get some money. And 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 quite quickly, I, I started working in the hair salon to yeah. on a Saturday, and I really enjoyed it. And yeah. kind of and and it felt a little bit glamorous. It felt a little bit yeah. sort of there was a bit of a magic sparkle there and my eye was drawn to that and you know cut to a few years later ended up in london in the kind of in the mid 70s yeah. uh, you know 75 um and worked in a few good salons sort of like elizabeth arden which was in bond street and and i was in miss selfridge in regent street and i had great fun and um then I moved on to Moulton Brown and South Moulton Street, who did all the Vogue covers and kind of were heavily involved with the editorial of the time, right. which was owned by Browns. Yeah, uh, it, it was a it's a product company now, but it was a it was the, the kind of go to hair salon in London at that time. Right. So I got myself a job there and started to work for magazines. Yeah, I mean, started to work for Vogue pretty early on, and. Um, then I didn't want to go back in the salon after a few years. You know, I, I, I loved being in a studio creating amazing images on, on, with wonderful creative people. So, so Sam, can I talk to you about um, yeah. Princess Diana? Yes. Um, very famous Vogue cover. Yeah. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Well, it came about because um, Patrick had done this shoot privately with yeah. the princess. It wasn't a Vogue shoot. Right. And oh, really? So it was a private commission? It was a private commission. Yeah. And Patrick and I actually, Liz Tilberis was the editor of Vogue in the time, at the time, and, yeah. and Patrick and I, and, and I think Anna Harvey, sort of thought the pictures were just so amazing. Yeah. And we may have told Liz, and yeah. Liz sort of managed to persuade the powers that be to, um, to yeah. uh, use it on the on the Vogue cover. And the powers that be are the powers of Buckingham Palace. At Buckingham guess, Palace, not, not yeah, the Vogue yeah. House. To go through the, the, the normal protocol, you know. Yeah. And um, it's interesting to imagine that Buckingham Palace has a sort of set of kind of fashion photography yeah. experts. Yeah. I think maybe the I think I don't know if the it wasn't particular, particularly fashion. Um, no, I'm it, sure was it was just image, across the board. Yeah. 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 But um, and and we had a little. I mean, she. she She was, ch she was evolving, she was changing the way she looked. Her, yeah. her, her dress sense was evolving, her sense of herself was evolving. She was, you know. So we cut her hair pretty short, uh, you know, a little bit inspired by Linda. Yeah. And um, she was kind of intrigued by the supermodels, Linda and Cindy and, yeah. and Chris. She was intrigued at, at, at sort of what made them tick and, and how they dealt with the, the, the fame thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, such girls, fame, famous for how they looked, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we, we, we got to meet Linda a couple of times. I think Mary had a dinner at her, her flat once and, and, um, and she came and Linda came too. And also um, we had a little breakfast at Joe's Cafe and um, we kind of, and, and she met Linda. And yeah. um, so what was she, was she directly asking Linda how to deal with photography or how to model or no I think it was it was just a kind of um, I don't know what the, I don't know what they were saying in private because I wasn't there all the time I, mean, right. I, I just I, I think it was just she was very very 
interest to meet different people from you yeah. know she, she took me to amazing places she, she, she with with her she took me to mother Teresa's in calcutta right. she took me to refugee camps on the Af afghan border which was yeah. really really traumatized me right. but for her it, she had a natural sort of yeah. um so you, were you, you traveling around with her? So I did, I did lots. You took me to lots right. of many different places. So over what sort of period of time were you sort of doing? Seven years. Wow, that's a yeah. real yeah. relationship. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, I was very fond of her. We, yeah. we, had a, we, had a, we, had a, we had a good time for seven years. I mean, through, yeah. through sort of ups and downs. And, 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 um, and it was just, she was just a pleasure to, for me to be around. And how many around. Vogue covers did you do of her? I think we shot about four Vogue covers. Right. right. And the sessions got easier? Um, she got more relaxed? With... I don't think she ever found them particularly easy. I think Patrick yeah. made it a lot easier. I think yeah, yeah. it wasn't her comfort zone to be sitting there and sort of yeah. um, in a studio with lights and, and six yeah. people staring at yeah. you and having her hair and makeup done. She wasn't really that kind of person, you know? And did she, what, how long were the sessions, do you think? Um, just a few hours, right. maybe two or three hours. Which, Always, whereas Patrick's speed came in very handy. Yeah. And how many different changes of, of outfit? There'd be a few changes. There'd right. be three or four changes. Yeah. As many as we could fit in. And your association with it, it was a seven year association and you became famous for changing it. Obviously, it was very widely reported that you changed the hairstyle. Yeah. She did a very short, boyish, very short boyish crop, which is hair. Then before an event in New York, you we just slicked her hair back, hair back, yeah. Which I remember the headlines for. I know, I is, know. Did it feel slightly strange to be in, to your work to be that scrutiny? No, it wasn't really strange for me. It was that, but the, 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 I was in New York and my mum and dad in Scotland in a mining village were doorstepped yeah. by newspapers and my, my mother was really, really traumatised by it, you know? Really? Yeah, and, and I didn't really realise kind of I had no idea it would have that effect, you know. So I what really on earth didn't. was they door stopping your mother for? What, to, oh, to try just and get for any information, trying to get any information yeah. yeah. Probably to dig dirt, I don't know. Yeah. But, um, you know, and they wrote horrible things about my mum, you know, and that kind really? of thing. Yeah. Not horrible, just things that, you know, why, why are you writing that? Well, yeah, horrible, you know. Yeah. You know, he doesn't even do, the headline in the Scottish papers, he doesn't even do his own, own mother's hair. No, because he lives in New York, you yeah. know. It's, it's, yeah. It was very, and that, that kind of, that affected me a lot. Right. That yeah. was really weird. Yeah, you know? I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, just to sort of gauge a little bit the sort of ratio, so where, if you were going to go and do her hair, would you go to Buckingham Palace or did she have a, a, a No, no, she lived in Kensington or? Palace and I'd go Kensington to her apartment big. in Kensington Palace. Right. Yeah. Was that very strange just to see? No, no. no. She was very, she's very charming, and, you know, yeah. she's a lovely girl, you know, yeah. funny. Relaxed. Yeah. She very, she very, when she, when she, she first met me and was interested, she's totally disarming and yeah. uh, makes you totally ease. And, and that was a, that was a real, that was a real talent, you know? Yeah. Yeah.